I can't sing. Ish, mm -hmm. This is so close. Uh, hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Life with Kuru. My name is Kuru Filamanyata, and today we're going to be talking about me writing my short story. I've never done this before. So sometime in 2019, um, they asked me to collaborate uh, and write a short story. Like they, 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 this lady, uh, Joanne Hitchens and Karina Skuzerek. Uh? I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, they asked me to uh, send them a short story so they were they wanted to do an anthology of short stories um so today i'm talking about how my journey of of writing the short story i it's not something that i've really considered doing but when they approached me i was so excited and i wanted to do it i was scared too because i've never written a short story ever ever in my life um, I've always found them difficult to do, to write, because you have to pack like a whole story in 3,000, 3.5 4, to 4,000 words. So it was really one of those scary things that I had to do. So I want to share with you how I managed to, to write my story. And this is it. It's on page... 54 so this is and i'll write where you can get the book if you wanted if you want to read the short stories they are very good it's about hair so what i did when i was constructing my story the first thing that i did was to research about hair you know Black women's hair is one of the most talked about subject all over the world. So I wanted to get a feel of what people are thinking and what people are saying about hair. You know, I also have my own ideas and thoughts. So, but I wanted a broader view of the subject. That's what you do as a writer. You have your own ideas of what you think a subject is about and there are also other people's views of what that subject is about so when you write you need to consider view like other people's viewpoints you need to look at a subject from different perspectives so the first thing that i did was to research so since i told you remember i i gave you i posted a video of of the things that i used to write um this is the diary that I'm using right now. So it's a bit, <laughs> it has seen better days because now I'm using it for everything. So let me just move the camera so that you can also have a look at, at the first things that I, I, I wrote. Yeah, okay, this is the view of my diary. So it's a lot of things that I've, that I wrote here because I was at the time I was trying to figure out how to how I'm going to approach the story our stories the authors who are featured in the anthology are intertwined and have the same basis and that base, basis is hair so each story touches on identity and social status and symbolism but in the context of hair you know so i had to think okay if these are the themes that we have to look at when we write our stories what is it that i'm looking for in my story what is it that i want to say when people are reading it so i thought okay as you can see here i have like a few notes that i made it's it's um not to be blatant that it's about hair so i didn't want my story to literally talk about hair i wanted to have um a different meaning 
but yet still be about her. I also wrote here and said it should be about the subject matter that pulls the plot forward. So this statement literally says it is about her, but it shouldn't be the main idea. There should be something in the plot that pulls the, the, the story forward. So I knew that I wanted to write a story about a woman who has an Afro and also like her identity is wrapped within her hair. Like, I don't know if I'm making sense. Like, you know, um, with black women, we, we are seen and we are defined by our hair, you know. Um, if you have dreadlocks, they will call you the African queen. If you have an Afro, you're still the African queen. If I think I spoke about it about this in my video where I'm I'm imitating my character's hair. I will link it up up here so you can go and 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 see that video. I go in into detail about how I feel. Um, our our hair is viewed by society, black men, and 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 the whole world in general so we can go and check it out here for my research i just googled you know google is the source of information so i googled hey literally i just typed in hey let's just see what we get So you have hairstyles, hair city, hair braids, hair clippers, hairstyles for black women. So because now I wanted something that will inspire me, I said black hair. Conversations. Tribute to, to the black hair conversation. So you see, a whole lot of um, information comes up about black hair. Good hair, a conversation about hair, black hair at university. Um, six real women have a conversation about black hair. So like you can just choose any any article that will just inspire you into into writing. And also this research gives you a an idea of the different perspectives that are out there and it also um opens your mind to other ideas like when you write you need to be open-minded you need to see different perspectives and consider those different perspectives it's really important because you don't want yes you can write in a, a story from your own perspective but it is also amazing when you can embrace other perspectives and also put your own perspective and question those per perspectives um like literally writing is about asking and answering questions just click on one one um website this is uh, it's um website It's called Urban Houston Network. Not to plagiarize other people's things. You know. Le Loving your locks. A conversation with black women about their relationship with their natural hair. So the idea behind the the short story, me writing the short, the short story, was to capture the courage that it takes for a black woman to literally maintain um grow her natural hair um i know like it, it's quite political 
black hair is really political if you go in depth if you google like like and you go in depth into the the, the conversations that people have about hair you will see that you will see that um black hair has been politicized to the point that we as black women um have to have courage to literally have natural hair have dreadlocks you know but it also takes courage as well to put on a weave and relax your hair because lekfa is really painful it's painful so anyway yeah so in your story you can also embed the ideas put in the ideas that you want to impart to your readers that you want to tell them about like i said writing is a powerful tool that we as writers and learning writers aspiring writers can use to literally change people's pers perspective that's why i call this book a woman like the short story a woman's glory because i wanted to glorify or pay homage to natural hair to black women's hair to black people's hair you know so do your research when you want to write a story do your research find out what is already out there this will also help you to plan and sometimes when you research it also helps you to be creative more because you can see this the the the, the niche where people like you can literally see the people are not talking about this why are they not talking about this so you can put a different take on on that topic you know okay thank you guys for watching this video i hope it helps and yeah bye please subscribe bye